Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves, and today is going to be a simple shave. Um, I actually shaved last night, and it's only been maybe 13 hours or so. We have very little growth here, but I'm just going to mow it right down. Um, probably just a two-pass shave. Keep it simple, but hope you guys are doing well, having some good shaves. I'm actually going to be traveling very soon gonna be in a different state in a couple of days so you might see some videos out of another place hopefully I can make a couple of videos a day not a couple of videos a day a couple of videos a week I might try to do it daily who knows but as for today I'm gonna be going with a good old um, kind of my go-to soap which is sterling sheep it's not the most popular soap out there because it's it's unscented. Um, it kind of has a kind of a base funk to it. Not not that bad, but it's not truly unscented. But it's all it's it's right there. But it lathers up beautifully. <laughs> lathers up so creamy with this Sawdust Creation big red brush made by Bobby Moffat. Check him out at Etsy or on Instagram. <clears throat> But yeah, let's get going with the face and start lathering here. <clears throat> I probably shouldn't shave today, but I had an opportunity to shave and record, so might as well go at it. Here we go. Lather beautifully. Just know it. Mm. can tell just by looking at it, feels great. Mm. Try not to do too much scrubbing today because I'm only on a 13 hour growth. So, <laughs> gonna keep it a bit light, that lather blooping everywhere. All right, let's get at it. Creamy looking lather, a lot of sheen on there. Very nice. And for the 13 hour growth, I'm gonna be shaving with one of my favorite razors, the Sterling HA Hyper Aggressive Plate, paired with a Gillette Knot Set. Is a bad idea, but I find that I don't have to buff with this razor, so it's kind of one pass or one one stroke on each area of the face and it just mows it right down so sometimes this is a I could even use it as a daily shaver I just have to be mindful not to buff any areas and just kind of give it one stroke and it will do the job very well so here we go it's a knot set on its third use let's go first pass here with the grain As you can see, it's gliding very well. You can still hear some of the growth. I'm not trying to buff any area. It's kind of a just gold right with the grain and let the razor do all the work. I think Ken from Shape 3 to 6, he does this kind of motion when it's Recording. And I find it pretty helpful not to irritate the skin using this kind of this continual motion instead of short buffing strokes.
And it's hard to do this with other razors, but this one is really efficient. I could do it without buffing and it'll still get the job done. All right, first cast done. Oh, mm. So much residual slickness. Skin feels very nourished. The intra-shave nourishment is top notch. All right, here we go. Second pass, probably my last pass. Mm. Plenty of lather there. Look at that. This is some high quality lather. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Second pass through, cross the grain. My skin is feeling fine so far. Is it just gliding really easily? All right, as for the upcoming shaves, I'm gonna be at a different location, so I'm gonna be bringing my travel setup. It'll be um, more accessible products. I'm not going to be bringing this sterling razor to me on my travel. Just in case I lose it. So. I'm going to be bringing my my starter kit or some my starter kit Ooh. let's hear that blade feedback you'll probably see my Vanderhagen razor maybe Maggard razor uh, maybe I might try to finish one of the soap tubs that I have Actually, hmm, yeah, I think I could bring it because I'm not gonna put my shaving stuff in the carry-on baggage. I think if I check it in, it should be fine. Um, feeling a little something right here, but let me just finish it up. One cleanup pass and that'll be it. Plenty of lather here. All right, it's gonna go the other way across the grain, uh, and then should be good to go. No against the grain today. Right, plenty of lather gathered on the brush, and we're good to go. Another quick shave, but got most of my growth, and we're good to go. Here we go. End of the shave. I would say it's a pretty close result. Still some hair against the grain, but other than that, that's a pretty clean, clean result. Very nice. Oh man. Let me rinse with some fresh cold water. Uh, 
finish with some Allen block using the Razor Rock Allen block on a stick. There you go. I felt something on the on this side of the neck, so I might feel a little bit with the Allen. Just a light sting on the neck, on the chin. Yeah. Shaving with the 13 hour growth wasn't the best idea, but it didn't give me a bad sting reaction. Just a light sting all around. Not too bad. All right. Yeah, so it's a pretty good shave. I'm gonna be on the plane in the next 24 hours, I think. So that should do it. All right, pretty clean result. No nicks, cuts, or irritations. Just a light sting with the alum, but pretty clean shave overall. Shave using sheep, sterling sheep. Smooth, creamy lather. Really enjoy using it. Lathered it up using the Sawdust Creation Big Red Brush. Shaved 13 hour growth with a Sterling HA plate paired with the knot set on its third use. Probably gonna be the last use, but that was an excellent result, excellent shave. Really enjoyed using all the products today. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, you might see me shaving in some other place, but uh, I'll catch you guys then. This is Tim Shaves now. See you guys next time. See ya.